Alright, this is Second Ezra 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Alright, we want to start this lesson off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Akakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS, the Great Millstone, who taught and continue to teach us this truth, which are the true leaders of Israel today. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayaf Dawadada House of David that's being risen up in these last days. All right, this is an article that we're going to read from Russia today. Come and take it. All right, that's the, the headlines of, the, uh, of, the, uh, of this uh, article, a provocative one. I might add, okay, thousands rally in Virginia against new gun control laws, okay? So the, without no further ado, the brother's going to get right into it. We got a couple of precepts. We're going to link up um, what's happening today with the scriptures. Go back to the, to the Genesis, the beginning of how we got here and, 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 and ultimately tell you the ending of, of, of all this, which is going to end in bloodshed, all right, as was prophesied in the scriptures. All right, so once again, the title is uh, Come and Take It. Thousands rally in Virginia against new gun control laws. It says, thousands of gun rights supporters and militia members have gathered at the Virginia State Capitol in Richmond in an armed show of uh, defiance against a slew of gun laws proposed by Governor Ralph, Ralph Northam. Northam, who, who shot to international infamy last year when a yearbook picture of him in blackface surfaced has proposed a bevy of new gun laws in the wake of a mass shooting at Virginia Beach last, last May. Democrats took control of the, of the State House of Representatives and Senate in November, giving Northam the political path to passing these laws. The proposed measures include uh, universal background checks, red flag laws, and a, a restriction on handguns purchase. A highly com 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 Controversial ban on AR-style semi-automatic rifles was struck out by the by the state's um, state senate last week. All right, and um, continuing on, it says thousands of gun right activists descended on the state capitol in Richmond on Monday to p protest these laws, bearing playcards reading "Come and Take It" and chanting "North Them Out." Hordes of uh, demonstrators poured through security checkpoints and onto capitol grounds. Northam had declared a state of emergency on Friday and banned weapons from the ground, citing a threat of extremist violence. Con, and so when you, when you go into um, the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution, it reads a, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed on. All right, and, and this this argument, this language, you know, this doctrine, this philosophy that that Esau um, lives his life by goes back to the Genesis. It goes back to the beginning. It goes back to the foundation of of what was told to Esau. All right, starting with Isaac, going back to them ruling the earth with the sword. All right, let's go to Genesis chapter twenty seven. Uh -huh. You can pick a, bit, a, a good spot. Alright. Alright, so bear with me real quick. Yeah, so this is this is all this is this is all this is. Right. And 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 it's indicative to Esau losing power because if if he was given a, a right, the ability to rule the earth with the sword, and now his rights to bear arm, his right to bear arms is being infringed upon. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's the Lord letting you know that he's getting ready to take them down. They're starting to lose power. And in the midst of this, which is going to happen, is going to be a civil war. That sedition amongst men is happening right now. But the invasion of one another is going to take place because this liberal and conservative thing is, is taking its course. All right? And the gas is out there. It's just one spark of, 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 of one, one little spark that's going to ignite this flame. And it's ultimately going to burn his house down. This house that is divided amongst itself. All right, Khan. This is uh, Genesis 27. Start at verse 34. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry. 
and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, Thy brother came with subtility and had taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is it not rightly his name Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he had, had taken away my blessing. And he reserved, thou, thou not reserved a blessing for me? Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him Lord of all thy brethren, and have given him uh, for servants. And with corn and wine have I sustained him. What shall I do unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me even also. O my father, Esau lifted up his voice and, and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of the heaven from above. By thy sword shall thou live. So this is what Isaac told Esau because the blessing had went to Jacob. Jacob would be the blessed and, and going into bow down to. All right, Esau was going to be the servant. All the, 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 all the gold, all right, all the power, the dominion was going to go to Jacob. And Esau was going to serve his brother Jacob. And it was told to Esau that he would have the fatness of the earth. All right, and by his sword, he was going to live. And this is how they live. They live, they've obtained their power primarily, strictly because of that weapon. That they have, because without that weapon, um, the truth uh, will manifest itself that they're just weak and a, 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 a feeble people that need to be dominated. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can, bro. Uh, but you know, that's going back to the foundation. This is how the foundation of Esau gaining all um, the fatness of the earth and the dew from heaven, as as the scripture, uh, uh, you know, uh, states. You know, this is how when they had uh, Jacob in captivity, when they brought the the uh, the when they took down the natives, when they brought um, you know the 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 southern kingdom from over in Africa all the way to Americas. Well, how they did it? They did it by the sword. All right. So now that that now that they they're getting they're getting uh, their sword or their their that gift or the thing that they use uh, constantly to to and to increase their power. Now it's getting stripped. So now they're losing their power because they're not going to have it anymore. Right. All right. Right. Right, and and it is written, um, you live by the sword, you, 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 you die by the sword. That's right. And how has they lived? They lived by the sword. And what is the Heavenly Father getting ready to do? He's getting ready to kill them uh, with the sword. That's right. This is Matthew 26 and 52. Then said Yahweh shot unto him, put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. All right, showing you. Those that, that oh, the, talking about, um, you reap what you sow. All right, yep. going back into the most high is not mocking, you reap what you sow. All right, so if you, if you, if you use that sword to gain power, guess what? That sword is also going to be the fall and the destruction in, in a way that you're going to lose your power. All right, so, um, also I'm going to uh, bring out Luke 11 and 18. All right, and it reads, If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because he say, I cast out devils through Beelzebub. So, but the point of it is, is, is a house being divided in itself. And, and once again, the main, the main reason why it's being divided is because of that, that weapon, that sword. All right? So now that's what's bringing civil unrest. That's what's bringing um, uh, uh, the, you know, these people from outside of Virginia and all these different militias that they're talking about, bringing them inside uh, to, 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 to protest at the state house. All right. All it's right? a major rallying cry for why there should be a sedition amongst men. Uh, Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 Be not deceived The most high is not mocked For a soul of a man's soul That shall he reapeth And what does the scripture say In Revelations Alright the scripture says in Revelations That um, thus with violence Shall that great city Babylon Be thrown down mm -hmm. The scriptures talk about The Egyptian being set up Against the Egyptian And this is what the Heavenly Father is doing um, Brewing up this uh, civil war uh, Civil war Because mm -hmm. we talk about The Third World War But Understand the scriptures also prophesy about what a civil world war. Get that in Isaiah, Baba Kasha. Khan, this is Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptian against Egyptian, and they shall fight every one of against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, cities against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Now, who's the Egyptian? The Egyptian is going, the modern day Egyptian is the modern day, uh, modern day Egyptian is the American. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, yeah, you're American with that Babylonian mind frame, with that Babylonian mind uh, set. Remember, 
Revelation is the 11th chapter, all right, where it talked about um, this place being spiritually Sodom and Egypt, okay? So taking on the customs of these place, you know, taking on the deities of this place, you took on the attributes of it. So what the Heavenly Father is going to do, he's going to hit you with the same curse that he's hit them with, mm -hmm. all right? Calm. The same, same plagues that hit Egypt is coming... Uh, are they already here? Mm -hmm. Likewise, that 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 fire and brimstone, which was basically that that destruction, hail, fi uh, fire, in the form of meteorites coming out of the sky, is basically coming to America. That's right. And I'm um, going back into um, Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter, mm -hmm. because as you read, uh, as we read, it stated that that he called for a, a, a national emergency. All right, he called for uh, to, for for security to mm -hmm. tighten up. All right, so now going into, I'm going to read um, 16, go down to 17. It says, But there shall be sedition among men and invading of one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. Yeah, hey, they're not regarding the the, uh, the, the mayors, all right, the Democrats that are in, uh, in power, that's, that's trying to uh, make force these gun laws down the throats of American citizens. They're not going to care about um, what, what, the, what these people have to say because they know they're, they're very existence the very power mm -hmm. lies in their weaponry and without it they're nothing that's right it's going it's going as far as them saying come and take it all right and they telling and they're saying also to, to, to get the dude out of the house it says north north them out mm -hmm. all right showing mm -hmm. you that that pride and, and they, they, they're not gonna they're not gonna let anything get in between that message that they're trying to push out mm -hmm. all right they're saying come and take it if you want it all right and it says uh in the course of their action shall stand in their power it says a man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able. The reason why I brought that out is because that's a form of that security being built up and uh being uh like you said they they gonna activate it, all right. And not just only in Virginia, we know that eventually it's gonna get pushed across the the, the whole United States for all these states that, that that you know you can carry and bear arms. All right, they're gonna push it, and how much more those other states, such as Florida, such as Georgia, such as Texas, mm -hmm. that they're gonna also uh, rally up and, and have more protests. They're so gonna, now they're gonna have to get it under control. They're gonna follow suit, mm -hmm. and, and and Esau is due for another false flag terrorist attack at in one of these places happening. As you see, they're they're filled up with. Um, you see the U.S. military damn near, um, in full full gear. They had snipers on the roof. You know, mm -hmm. I always say like, you know, you go on into convoys and you see these people, oh, we're not going to take our guns, they're not going to do this, and we're, we're going to fight back. And, you know, you, you're not dealing with, um, when you're dealing with the United Nations, um, you're not dealing with an army of one group shooting musket guns at another one, man. All right? There's going to be a lot of bloodshed. That's right. It's going to be a lot of bloodshed, okay? Come on, um... I just want to get into Matthew, um, going to 24 real quick and just jump straight to the point. Um, this is Matthew 24 and 7 says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom shall be uh, a kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse, in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Yep. So once again, these are all the prophecies that are all combining. It's, uh, what is it called? Um, simultaneous mm -hmm. meaning it's, it's all happening uh, at the same time. Mm -hmm. All right? Yep. So this is also happening... Um, uh, I was, this is also happening the same time these these earthquakes is happening, all, um, with these uh, volcanoes erupting, with uh, the World War Three, uh, yeah, attention going the mark on, of the, beast. the mark of the beast being pushed. Yep. So now that we know that this is this is the time that we're in, but he says the end is um, the end is not yet. And he said uh, the beginning of sorrow. So yep. now we're gonna see, uh, and, and don't forget we're still in the beginning of um, twenty, the year twenty twenty, the year of prophecy. So now we're gonna see. Uh, uh, what happens uh, going going on into this year? Yep. All right, it's yep. gonna it's gonna get bigger and bigger, and and the scripture also goes into. Um, so I can let me get it real quick. Yeah, All things right. are gonna um, intensify in twenty twenty yeah. this year of prophecy. That's right. This is um Second Ezra fifteen and eighteen. It says, "For because their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the house shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid." So now we're gonna start seeing a lot of people question what's going on. You're going to start seeing a lot of people being afraid. You already have people talking about this, uh, the, the war tensions. So now you see people uh, kind of like shaky on the edge with that. But with these things happening, with these gun laws uh, and it's civil unrest, you know, what it actually... Because, uh, you know, across the world, we see protests and, uh, and, and sedition among men. All right? right. Uproars of the people. Now what did happen in, in America, because they, we always say America is, is, the, is that, the, you know, it says... Um, 
that 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 great that great place and, and and you know save the best for last. All right, so it's gonna be even more worse than what's going on in these other nations. So now people are gonna be really afraid. It says the house shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. All right, so people are not gonna know what to what to do. All right, hence why the scripture said knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of our time because we know what's going on and we got uh, got our eyes open and watching for for the prophecies, but. This is this is this is a, it's gonna it's gonna get worse than, than what we see, you know. Esau Esau is going now right in front of our eyes, all right, and and, and it's a beautiful sight, you know. Let's just see that liveth to see the downfall of his enemy. That's right. This is the beginning stages of, like the brother said, a sudden catastrophic. You know. That's right. This year, man. This year could be that year, man. That's right, God. Yeah, so with that, you know, when they give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Rakan Kadash, double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone once again, and also citation to the hopeful elect out there, labor and truth and sincerity. And with that, I want to say Shalom. Shalom. And Abad Babal. Abad Babal. Death to America. Death to America.